One of the most common questions I get is how am I navigating through 3D so smoothly? Well, I have a secret weapon. It's this little guy right here. In this video, I'm gonna show you all about it. So let's do it. All right, in this video, we were talking all about using a 3D mouse with ArchiCAD. Now, I've dusted off a old project here that I had in the archives, and I thought this would make a really good example and demonstration for why you need a 3D mouse. Now, to, to show you the exact spec of what this mouse is, I'm just going to pull up the properties here so you can see it. So I am using the Space Navigator by 3D Connection. Now, this is certainly one of the more simple 3D mouses that 3D Connection offers. They have some that are much more elaborate that have a whole uh, kind of palm pad with a ton of different buttons. This really has one button on each side and then the, uh, the 3D wheel or actuator or whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's quite simple. I think this one runs maybe $120, $140, but it covers all the 3D motions that you really need to navigate in ArchiCAD. You can go left and right, forwards and backwards, up and down. Uh, it has some options for rolling, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in ArchiCAD because we want to keep our scene upright, but certainly we can spin and rotate very easily. And so the combination of really these three and this one down here, the four main motions, just makes it so easy and seamless for navigating through your 3D scene. So, okay, let's close this down and I'll just kind of show you real quickly how it works. So I'll kind of keep my, ha my hand out of the way a little bit just so you can kind of see how this does work. So if I wanted to zoom closer to my project here, all I would have to do is just kind of push the front. So I really think of the, the wheel as like the direction that I want to move. So if I want to go in, then I push it forwards. If I want to go out, then I'll pull it backwards. If I want to go down, then I push it down. If I want to go up, then I'll lift it up. If I want to rotate to the right, I rotate it to the right. If I want to go left, go to the left. And what's nice is really we can start combining all of these moves together so that we can go up and down, in and out. And it just is so smooth and seamless when navigating through a 3D scene. It's uh, it's really a lot of fun to play with. It definitely makes your client presentations just that much more immersive because instead of having to go through and pre-program like a, a camera path, you can really let your presentation discussion points lead the conversation, and then whatever you're trying to look at, you can just kind of zoom in and really start orbiting around it and get a good perspective on whatever point you're really trying to highlight. So it's just so smooth. It's just so much better than trying to zoom in and out, pan around, um, hold down shift to uh, to orbit. Um, it's, uh, it's just that much smoother. So you can see here, um, if we zoom out a ways, if I try to zoom in the traditional method, I need to, it's very jerky. It's, uh, um, you need to do a lot of scrolling here. Obviously you can probably hear my wheel, so that's not a very uh, clean look for a client presentation. Uh, to pan is no problem, that's fine. But if I wanted to start orbiting around this, uh, this uh, air traffic control tower here, I'd have to actually take my left hand, hit the shift key, and then start orbiting. But I can only go so far, be, and really my scene starts getting out of the way here. So if I wanted to orbit around the whole thing, I would have to do a combination of orbiting, panning, orbiting, panning, orbiting, panning, and some zooming, versus just taking the 3D mouse, and then I can just spin this around endlessly. So it's really just a great presentation tool as well as a productivity tool for when you're actually trying to go through and model your scene. So um, let's just pull up a different view of this here. So yeah, when you're going in and saying, say you want to like grab a column or a beam and make a slight connection, you can just kind of get your viewpoint set up a little bit nicer um, just by being able to rotate while you're grabbing things and selecting things. And you don't even need to hit the keyboard. You can just keep your left hand on the mouse 
and rotate around while you're flying through your scene. So it's certainly, uh, you know, much better than using the scroll wheel and the shift key. If you compare this to the 3D Explorer function, um, this does work, but you still need to oops, uh, go over all the way and start hitting your keyboard. And so this is like an old school video game style, which really doesn't, um, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's not terrible, but it's not nearly as good as just taking the 3D mouse and starting to navigate through your scene uh, much more uh, fluidly and naturally. So, um, okay, uh, with that, um, let's see, what else is there? So th we do have a few buttons here that we can uh, program. Let me show you just what we have as available options. So, so really with this particular mouse, we only have two buttons, a left and a right. But we can go in and we can start tapping into some ARCHICAD functionality here. Like right now I have my 3D cutaway plane turned on. So as I'm in my scene, I can just zoom in and all I need to do is click that button. And then there we go. We can start cutting our project. We can push and pull while navigating, which is nice. And um, yeah, just uh, makes it very fun and uh, immersive to be flying through your scene. So whenever I'm doing my recording for my videos, I'm typically always using one of these just because it makes it that much easier um, to get to where you're trying to get to and to model. It just makes it much easier to model, I've, I've found. Um, the only downside to it is, uh, well, for one, you may waste a little bit more time at first because you're just having so much fun spinning around your scene. Uh, the other downside is it is kind of heavy. So like, it's, it is heavy so that when you lift it, it doesn't actually come off the desk. And um, because of that, it has this really nice solid feel to it. But if, uh, if you like having light uh, computer bags as you're you know, traveling, that is something that will add a little bit of weight. It's, uh, it is a little bit, you know, you can see the size of it. It is a little bulky, so um, it's good to get a little carry case for it. Um, but one thing to note is as you're going through the uh, the airport security, I almost always get stopped because they want to take a closer look at what this is because it must be like lead weighted in the bottom, I think. Um, and so it always shows up on the security uh, screening. So one thing just to warn you about. But um, once you get one, I'd say you'll never want to use ARCHICAD without it. It's just so much fun to use. And so that's why I want to do a quick video on it. So um, yeah, if you... Uh, Want to pick one up? I'll leave the uh, a link in the description here. Again, this version I think costs maybe 120 or 140, depending on if you go for the wired or the wireless. But um, yeah, I guarantee you will not regret getting one, and uh, you'll have a lot of fun with it. So, um, so yeah, with that, I'll end this video here. If you like this type of content, then be sure to subscribe, and uh, we do all types of different videos here on ARCHICAD. Um, really, this is the first one I've ever done where I'm actually uh, recommending to go buy something. Um, but once again, this is probably the most common question I get from my YouTube videos is how am I navigating? So I just wanted to do one to really explain it um, very clearly and show you exactly how I navigate. So with that, uh, again, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and I will catch you on another video here very soon.